Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, let me say, Kalayim lo Yahuwah, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Laha, Barakha, Kodash, Obarakatham. And double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, peace and blessings. And we'll feel like Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Barakatham to you, brothers. Continue pushing. And um, I was meditating, you know, because I think I mentioned that camp in America is synonymous with Babylon and Babylon. You know, it means confusion because it goes back to the confusion of languages. And, um, which you read about in the book of Genesis. And I was meditating on certain points on that, you know, how America um, stands against masculinity and um, pushes femininity, so on and so forth. So I just wanted to get a few precepts on that um, and, and go into that, man. It's the book of Isaiah 24, verse 10. The city of confusion broken down. Maybe has to shut up that no man may shut that no man may come in. Right now, America is, you know, city confusion is bad one, and then that goes to America. We see here no man may come in. That's going to the uh, the whole lockdowns, and uh, that's how it's being broken down through all those lockdowns, which came to pass, you know. Which um, there's other things as well, which we can go ahead and we just go ahead and get this too. You know, other ways the Lord is, um, you know, breaking this thing down, this place down. Um, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 14. The Lord, Yahweh, hath mingled the perverse spirit in the midst thereof. They have caused Egypt to, to err in every work thereof. A drunken man that staggereth, a drunken man staggereth in his vomit, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. So pretty much is going into this scripture right here. Because Egypt, America is also um, called Egypt, which you can read about that in Revelation 11. Um, the city, you know, spiritually Sodom in Egypt. Um, but Egypt is America. And pretty much what the scripture is going into, how the Lord is making America make mistakes at every turn. Um, whether it be, you know, economic wise, by having all these um, spending, you know, and, and uh, pumping all this money into. You know, down over there with the the construction crane, and um, hey man, whatever whatever they do, man, <laughs> they just they just can't they can't get it right. You know, now they they getting the interest rates up, they hiking up the interest rates, but that's not going to fix anything. You know, and that's what the Lord has set up for this place. You know, for them to to, to, to mess up in everything that they do. All right, and of course, this place has a, <laughs> a perverse spirit. You see, perverse is uh distorting. Perverting, warping. It's like this place is not only confused, but it's it's perverted, man. It's it's corrupt. It's it's, it's distorted, you know. In other words, you know. I I got this on the King James. Let's see if we can get a little bit more here. If we use the blue letter, you know. This is just a spirit to have me go ahead and get this one. All right. So I thought there'd be more here. Warp judgment, exactly. Depravities, perversities, exactly. This is a very depraved society, man. You know, they push, you know, feminism, put women on a, on a pedestal. That's confusion, man. That's, that's, they push, they push, uh, you know, the children, you know, having children in these, in these, you know, skimpy ass outfits and shit, you know. That shit is wicked, man. You know, having, having little girls in, in bikinis and shit. You know, that, that shit is, that shit is off, man. You know, and you look at the word depraved, morally corrupt, wicked, man. This is what the society is. All right. Let's go here and get further into the lesson. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous should not inherit the kingdom of the most high? Be not deceived, nor the fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers themselves of mankind. We're going to keep reading, man. I'm going to break it down. Verse 10. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the most high. Right, so these people are not going to inherit the kingdom of the Most High, right? Fornicators, idolaters, whether it be, you know, literal fornication, like like uh, adultery or idolatry. You see, adulterers, right? Effeminate, right? That's what I want to get into, man. These are the people that are not going to inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Effeminate men. You're going to die on this side, man. You know? Now, I want to get into that word inherit. Now, this word here, when you go into inherit, it's uh, called a male. 
but that definition is a bit lacking in um, in in uh, you know what you what you want. You know, it's a bit lacking in um, information. So when you go to Ephesians five and five, which is literally saying the same thing, just about Ephesians five and five. For this, you know, no, the no homemonger, no unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater, for any inheritance in the kingdom of Yahweh shall my shot in of the Most High, Yahweh. Right? And you look here at uh, inheritance is Kladomayo, Kladomaya. It's like Kladomayo, um, Kladomaya. Which means the um, eternal blessedness. We look here in the definition. The eternal blessedness of actually, yeah. I'll just go down here. Um, the eternal blessedness of the consummated kingdom of the Most High, which is to be expected after the visible return of Yahweh Shaddai Mashiach. So, and you see, you read up a little bit above what is given to one as a possession, man, or property received inheritance, right? So this is this is something that's that's you're not gonna be you're not gonna inherit that, man. You're not going to receive a, a, a part of that on this side. You're just going to die on this side, but then you're going to come back in the kingdom to be right, you know. But you're not going to you're not going to be on the first the first the first bus in or the first way in, as other brothers will be, the one of that number, you know. You know these other guys are going to be uh, nutsack Israelites. Now you see the eternal blessedness, the consummated kingdom. Now, when you go to that word consummated, it just means to make complete. Right, so this is when the kingdom is gonna is gonna be here on earth. You know, I know brothers go into spiritually, you know, this is the this is the kingdom because that's like knowledge, wisdom and understanding, like the kingdom of heaven is within you, right? But it's gonna be physical, you know? It's gonna be physical, it's gonna be here on the planet Earth, man. You know, it's gonna be Israelite rulership, man. You know, it's gonna be beautiful, but well, you know, I'm I'm one of those men, you know, and I'd be able to hold that you know um so yeah at the visible return of Yahweh Shai so but you can read about that Revelation the first chapter Isaiah 63 oh boy all across Revelation man Revelations uh oh man I'm not even, I'm not even gonna bother you guys go look that up man you know go read it for yourself I know it's in second Ezra somewhere too I think the 13th maybe like the first couple of chapters verses of the 13th maybe but you guys can go can go research that. Alright, so So it will be here again, no you're not the God might just not inherit the kingdom of the most high, be not deceived. Alright, don't be deceived, okay? Because that's what that's what people push in a society, man. You have a lot of false prophets. You know, and that was prophesied to happen anyway, but we don't gotta, you know, get into that, you know. Cause you can read about that in uh Matthew twenty four, man, you have a lot of false prophets, uh, false teachers around. You know, they're, they're putting out deception like this, man. That these people, fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, will make it. It's a bunch of bullshit. All right? We're under grace. But the scriptures do say, when you read in, in the book of Romans, I think the sixth chapter, do sin because you're under grace. Most I forbid. All right? So be like the seed, not fornicators, not idolaters, not adulterers, not effeminate. All right? Now, that's what I want to focus on. I know it was kind of roundabout, but I had to dig into these scriptures, you know? Now, when you see her feminine, right, being a feminine means having the qualities of a woman. Now, we just read that America is synonymous with being the city of confusion and that the Lord has also put a perverse spirit in this place, man. You know, a morally corrupt spirit. You put two and two together, man, and that's what society pushes. So, people that are going to be stuck in a society, that are going to be stuck in that spiritually dead state, that feminine, weak nigga, sweet nigga mindset, they're going to get fucked up, man. You know? They're not gonna make it. When you come into this thing, you gotta you gotta put that shit aside, man. You know. Verse eleven, because we already read verse ten. Um, and such were some of you, for you are washed, for you are sanctified, for you are justified in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai by the Spirit of our power. Exactly. So such were some of you, man. And so we were all in this shit. You know, we're in idolatry, we're in the, in the Catholic Church, the Christian Church, we were feminine. You know. We were, we were engaged in that. Some brothers were adulterers, you know, committing adultery, so on and so forth, you know? But we were washed of that, man. And that's that's the real washing. The washing, the true washing is of the word, you know, not by water, as a Christian church like to push out. But that goes back to Psalm 119 and 9. Uh, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed to your word? Uh, to that word. You know, roughly paraphrasing. So you gotta come into this thing. The Lord gotta be dealing with you and give you the spirit for you to put off that 
you know, weak nigga mindset, man. You know, because um, you know, growing up too. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into this first. Then I'm gonna bring out some info. You know, as he, uh, Ephesians chapter six verse ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. In the breakdown, you must rely on Heavenly Father's might to sustain yourself in these times. In these times, especially in Jacob's trouble. Exactly, you have to be strong in the Lord, man. That also goes back into Psalm 44, man. Like, I don't trust in my bow, nor my sword will save me, you know? It goes it goes back into that, too. Um, which, I'm going to go add a precept to that in the King James. Because uh, the brother here has um, some good precepts. And I'm not going to bother reading them out. Because, you know, brothers can just hop on the King James. It's a beautiful program. You know, beautiful, beautiful, you know, website. The brother of GMS FAQ came up with very beautiful Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 put on the whole armor of the moral side that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil exactly so the whole armor of the moral side man you gotta get into this thing man you gotta put on this truth you know to stand against the wiles of the devil and you look at that word wiles it's a methodia like a method right um, and this is why we call Esau devil cause he does cunning arts and trickery cause when you go into that word uh, methodia it's, uh, you see the words um, cunning arts and trickery, you know, craft, deceit, what were we just talking about, man? This is, this is what Esau does, you know, he, he flips things th he flips things upside down, you know, so on and so forth. And there's scriptures that go into that too, you know, so this is what, this is what Esau does, you know. So he does these the cunning arts and trickery, right, with his movies or his films and so on and so forth, but it's technology. Which is also his sword, you know, all through the spiritual game of Satan. So he does, at least he does these. This is why we call him a devil, because he does these cunning arts and trickery through the spiritual game of Satan and demons in the left hand. Because Esau does have that, man. You know, the high level elites, they got spiritual power in the left hand. You know, they can, they can like summon demons and shit. You know, this this is some serious stuff, man. You know, what we're involved in. But, um, you know, we got to have faith that the Lord is going gonna, gonna to watch over us, you know. This also applies to little demons who flip the brethren through wicked thoughts to try to make us go off. So it's both, you know, because you have demons plaguing us on the, on the daily, man. You know, uh, verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right, and what this is going into is how we fight witchcraft. And tactics from the elite in various parts of our life, whether it be music, propaganda, white supremacy, misinformation, slander, psyops, you know, and also the movies, man. You know, because um, in a lot of the movies, right, you see the the main character or the hero of the story is usually some um, stick and bones kind of guy. He, he, he ain't got no, no muscle. He weak as fuck, you know. And then the villains are always like, you know, buff guys are like, you know, what is typically masculine, you know, the masculine principle. You know, what you saw does in these movies, especially movies with these with these kid movies, right? Like the villain is always a guy with a beard. The villain's always manly looking, right? <laughs> that's the that's what you saw doing to these kids, man. He's making them and, and and associating these kids' minds with bad with masculinity and being bad. You know, he, and he did he does that on purpose, man. He does that shit on purpose, you know, because he said all that you don't want the people to be masculine or to have that masculine spirit about you. He wants to keep you weak, he wants to keep you docile, man, you know. That's why you don't see on the news, you don't see different, you know, forms of, of information, right? You're just going to see the the same stuff that the, that the uh, medical industry pushes out, the same thing the news is going to push out, the same thing... Everyone else is going to push out because you see they're all ran by the same niggas, man. They're ran by these elite bankers, man. These Rothschilds. All right. Elite Edomite banking families, man. And Amalekites. They're the people that run this shit. So that's why there's a cohesion between these things. You put the, all the pieces together and it's like, oh, shit. This is, this is, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, man. You know? So. That was pretty much, um,. Everything that I wanted to go into. Um, yeah, actually, let's go into this one last one. Because since I have it here in the spirit, telling me that uh, I shouldn't close out without finishing up here. Um, 
Actually, I'm gonna bring up one more thing too. The brother who calm I am when I when I when I first met him, I think good. I wanna say uh, eight or nine months ago. Yeah, it's been that long. Um, I met him, and then you know, we started talking, so on and so forth. And he actually sent me a video of these rappers. Uh, I think it was from like maybe the early '90s. And you see the 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 kids, right? The well, the children in there, and they're uh, like masculine men. And they're like little little men, which that's what a like you really become a man once you you hit puberty. That's when you become a man. But in this society, oh, you're not a man until you're like 21. That's a bunch of bullshit, you know? Because they say you can't drink it till you're 21. And other people say, oh, you're not an adult till you're 21. Or they say 18, right? You can't drink, but you can go join the military. It, it don't make sense. You really become a man when you're, uh, when you when you hit puberty. You know, and you can raise up seed and make babies. That's how you become a man. It's the same thing with women. The woman when her period start, okay. Now, um, you see that right? You look at that video from the '90s, and those those kids they look like they act like little men. But then nowadays, you look at the rappers, man, like that are the, like their age, like uh, I want to say, you know, 13, 14. I'm not talking about drill rappers, which that's not masculine. That's that's just being a damn demon. They're just murderous. They're, they're murderous. That's that's just it. You look at them, you look at other singers their age, it's not the same thing, man. They're all weak, or feminine and shit. It's not the same, man. It's not it's not not the same. You look at the movies too, man. And I already mentioned certain things like the heroes and the villains. Now you think about that too. Um think about like uh James Bond, right? Yeah, because I love James Bond, you know, I I grew up with that. You know, my dad used to show me that when I was like uh I want to say, you know, 15, 16, 17, around there, you know, and um, I want to say 15 and 16, but then he would show me James Bond movies, right, you see Sean Connery, and he'd be slapping women in the ass and shit, you know, he'd be telling women, shut up and go over there, you know, that shouldn't go to fly nowadays, you know, you don't see, you don't see that in these movies today, in these movies, you got these, you know, weak ass niggas, man. And that's what Esau did. Esau did that shit on purpose. This is a lot of scripture. Ephesians, no, uh, not Ephesians. First Ephesians 1 verse 13. Wherefore, guard up the loins of your mind. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that's to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. But the point is, guard up the loins of your mind, man. Because in the ancient world, you know, we wore those long garments. And, um, you know, you would have to gird up your loins and it's ready to, to fight you. Like, gird up your, your garment around your loin area. You know, like around your your hips, that area, right? So that you can you know fight with not without having your garment, you know, hinder your your range of motion. So, you know, now you'd also do it if you had to run somewhere, or if you had to move quickly, you know. In other words, good loans of your mind. So, you know, keep your mind alert. You know, that's that's pretty much it. You know, keep you keep your mind alert. Be sober. You know, sober, calm, and collected in spirit. You know, that's all. That's all going into man. Be be masculine, man. You know, have that have that masculine mind state. Be ready, man. Be alert. You know, watch your videos, man. Watch your other brother's videos. You know, watch the news. Stay up to date on things, man. You know, don't just don't just fall asleep out here, man, and just fall back into the world. You know, read. You know, really read, man. You know, and then watch videos on what you just read so that you solidify it. You know, really grow. So, uh, I think I, I pretty much hit everything, you know, that I wanted to hit on. I was watching um, some YouTuber. Um, it was kind of like a bodybuilding channel. And the guy was talking about it, you know, certain things about how, um, you know, in this society, you know, when you when you start to like train and shit, people will um, they'll talk shit about you. You know they call it a swole shaming, right? Like people will like say you, you have a, a good physique, people will, will shame you and basically think like you're you're an idiot, you know. And I've had experiences like that too, you know, where where someone 
would see me say, oh, yeah, you just lift weights, you just pick things up and put them down, you know? And I remember when the guy told me that because he's like a, he's not really like a, see, I don't have friends, right? But he, he knows someone that I know, you know? And he said that. <laughs> and I said, oh, hey, man, I, I got to go, you know? But that just shows you how weak and effeminate this fucking society is, man. Yo, fuck this society, man. You know, keep pushing, man. Shalom.